The clock is ticking. We're just three days out from Christmas and it's crunch time for the Postal Service working tirelessly to get packages to your doorstep on time. As Denver 7's Addie Guajardo shows us, the agency is struggling to keep up with demand, even with workers racking up overtime. Letters, online orders and last minute gifts for mom this holiday season are pouring into U.S. Postal Service offices. And the reality is they may not arrive in time for Christmas. This week is our busiest week of our busiest month of our busiest year ever. We are seeing so many packages. James Boxrud, a spokesperson for USPS, says employees are working around the clock to deliver Christmas. We are seeing a historic amount of mail volume. Millions of Americans turned to online shopping during the pandemic. Add on a holiday season where many turned to their virtual carts and opted for gift packages over family gatherings. It's like the perfect storm. USPS is clearly overwhelmed. It was postmarked, I believe, November 27th, and it showed up last night. First class mail. 24 days later. I upcycle jackets. Business owner Stephanie Turner is feeling the pressure. Right now I have items that I mailed on December 1st that still haven't arrived. So that's three weeks. And she knows little about their whereabouts. I feel really bad for my customers. There's not much I can do. The Washington Post reported nearly 19,000 of the agency's 644,000 workers are under quarantine due to COVID-19. We're flexing our resources. We're borrowing people from other areas of Colorado to bring them to maybe an area that needs some help just to try to keep up with that flow. Boxrood says on Monday they delivered 971,000 packages in Colorado and Wyoming. Will this arrive on time? And I, I can't tell them. Turner's advice is one many are sharing online. If your package is late, print out a photo. Wrap that picture up and give it and, and just be patient. It's going to come. While it can be frustrating, she's reminding people to be kind to mail carriers working hard. In Denver, Addie Guardo, Denver 7.